Malaysia's Prime Minister, Mohidin Yassin, has declared he's still Prime Minister after a day of high political drama. Parties in his ruling coalition have thrown their support behind him hours after opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim claimed that he had the numbers to form a new government. Well, for a closer look, Dr. Johan Saravanamutu joins us now. He's adjunct senior fellow at the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies. Good evening. Another twist evening. In, in Malaysian politics. Uh, opposition leader Anwar, he, he didn't give any details about how he has this majority. He says he does, though. What are the possible permutations here? <laughs> There are many. Uh, well, as of now, I think uh, the idea of a majority is a counterfactual, shall I say. Uh, but uh, there have been some numbers thrown around. Uh, it is true that we are in a very, very fluid uh, pol uh, period of Malaysian politics. And uh, it is true that uh, the government that is uh, of the government of the day uh, it has a very weak majority. Uh, in the budget uh, supplementary bill, that was passed in August, uh, this last month, uh, they managed to squeeze through the, the bill with 111 votes, uh, with five absentees. So that's just, you know, past the line. Uh, but as of now, Anwar claims, or some people say that Anwar claims that he has a majority, uh, something like 123. But I was trying to count the numbers. Uh, it does not look as if Anwar has the uh, the, the, the support of the GPS or the Sarawak parties behind him. And if you take away the 18 or so seats that are held by the Sarawak parties, uh, then Anwar may just be slightly short of uh, that majority. However, there has been an announcement by the AMNO president, no less, Zahid Hamid, Hamidi, to say that uh, AMNO members are free to join Anwar. So there's something like 30 or uh, 38 members of AMNO. So if a good number of them decide to join, join Anwar, he may just have the majority. So it's a numbers game right now. <laughs> yeah, without knowing, the, without Anwar revealing his numbers, it's hard to know the details. Uh, also, he did say that he had a meeting with the king to explain this to him, but without that meeting having taken place, is he also in a bit of limbo? He is in a limbo. I, uh, he will have to wait until the king, you know, finishes his procedure at the Hart Institute. Uh, but the king did admit that he was uh, ready to meet Anwar, uh, and that he's actually given him and, him and his uh, wife, uh, Wan Aziza, uh, an audience. However, because of that, uh, the fact that he had to undergo this procedure at the Hart Institute, he, he canceled the appointment. And so that led Anwar to make this uh, dramatic announcement that he had a majority and that the government of uh, the day had collapsed. But the government of the day clearly has not collapsed because uh, there, has no, there has been no vote of confidence or vote of no confidence against the government of the day. So we will have to wait for another occasion, I guess, to really confirm if this is the case. So, Dr. Johan, walk us through the possible scenarios then, given that what Anwar says is you know, true, that he really does have the numbers. Well, uh, the first possibility is that he meets with Yagong at, 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 at an opportune time. Uh, and then he has to bring along with him what are called statutory declarations uh, of, uh, you know, the members of parliament who have come to his side. But he has, uh, by, by the way, it did, it, it did transpire today that he has support of all his, uh, his PH uh, members, that is about 91. So he would need to have about uh, statutory declarations for about 20 odd um, to his Hello, side, Johan, the, timing. Uh, you know, this side of, of yeah. Yeah, Sorry. Dr. Johan, just talk to us about, a bit about the timing of this being sort of coming to the fore now, especially with the mm -hmm. Sabah elections due on Saturday. Uh, how will this affect the polls, right. if at all? Well, some people are speculating, I would go along with it, that this actually is aimed at the polls in Sabah, uh, that Anwar is trying to basically destabilize the uh, Parikata National Coalition of parties, which is, of course, contesting against Warisan, which is a party that has uh, thrown its support behind the PH. So I think uh, it's part of a strategy to do that. Uh, and by announcing this, he may sort of uh, shake, some of the shake the confidence 
of uh, the candidates who are standing, you know, or even the voters uh, to, to sort of encourage the voters to support the other side. So I think that that is a kind of strategy of um, part of our. Yes, it truly is fascinating. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on it all. We've been speaking with Dr. Johan Saravanamutu, adjunct senior fellow at the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies.